Okay, let's watch it. Number one, Colbrane A is a scratching. Plenty of scratchings in the Pat Lawler handicap. Number two, Coltar, $4.50. Three more scratchings, Hunza Court, Scenic Royale and Royal Blue. $41 Royal Snack, I don't think we'll be eating. Sari Club is a scratching. Six fifty dollars Ruling Regent. Remember, these are Victorian TAB approximate dividends. Planet Warrior, five fifty. dollars Sir Knight is out. Ben Barra Knight, seven fifty. dollars Pengulu is out. Just Sterling, $7.50. Yites, $6.50. Brackenbury, <laughs> my old mate, $13. Source of, di of Division, uh, $5.50. And the other last three, Baraki, Always a Chance, and Lord Luskin are all scratched. It's a 1,200 metre race. They're going into the barrier for the Pat Lawler handicap. And as well as being a very efficient steward, Pat Lawler uh, was a very friendly and a good bloke. A very friendly man and a, ver and a, and a good bloke. OK, we've got about four still to go in. Track's heavy. I just think the top weight, or number two now, with the top weight out, Coltar is just too well weighted. Coltar, uh, ridden by the young apprentice Earl Dowson, uh, who's ridden a few winners lately, and he gets into the race with just 58 uh, in a race where the, the bottom weights are very, very average horses. OK, uh, two more to go in. Coltar races in the uh, emerald green with red and white V, white sleeves and a white cap if you're looking for him. That's Royal Snack going in last in the green cap. OK, the light will come on now. Let's go down to Sandown to our caller, John Russell. Here he is. Good line. Pat Lawler welder. They're off. Good start, too, with the exception of Ben Barra. Knight dwelt, lost about a length or so. One of the first out, Yites towards the inside with Just Sterling, who began well. Uh, Brackenbury was away quickly, just in behind them. Kaltar given time to settle down. Uh, a length and a half ruling region on the outside of Planet Warrior, being followed a bit further back by Source of Divorce and Royal Snack and Ben Barra Knight. Settling into stride, coming down the hill, 850 to go, and Just Sterling is the leader. Led by a length and a half in advance of Brackenbury, second, a half length to Yites, a length to Kaltar, followed by Royal Snack moving around them. Uh, out three off the fence, Source of divorce being followed closely by Planet Warrior on the inside of Ruling Region and Ben Baranida as they commence the run around the home turn. 600 metres left to go and Just Sterling led three quarters of a length on Brackenbury moving up on the outside. Carl Tar into the picture followed by Yates on the rails. Further back as Royal Snack and they're followed by Ruling Region and Ben Baranite's a fair way back with Source of Divorce as they straighten up. Now Brackenbury moves up to take the lead at the 300 metre mark. Tackled by Carl Tar running on well. They're clear from Just Sterling in behind them. Yates and further back down the outside source of divorce. Kaltar in front coming to the 200 metre mark. Just Sterling on the inside. Brackenbury. Yites is finishing on pretty well. Kaltar just the leader. Brackenbury fighting back over on the inside but Kaltar is a clear leader close to home and is going to win it. Kaltar wins it well. Second Brackenbury. Just Sterling may just hang on for third from Yites. They're followed by ruling regent and further back in the field came Ben Barra Knight followed by source of divorce. Planet Warrior and last home Royal Snack. Well, that's the way we want them to win, isn't it? Uh, good on Coltar and well ridden by the little boy when he gave it a couple of smacks. It pulled away from uh, Brackenbury uh, and uh, Coltar and, uh, I'm sorry, Just Sterling in the pink colours. And there's no doubt that's what the numbers will be. Number two, Coltar first. Uh, second will be number 15, Brackenbury. And perhaps, as John Russell called, Just Sterling in the pink holding on for third. The numbers, two, 15 and 13 as we take a break on the wide world of sports. Town in uh, South Africa. Okay, let's just check out the Pat Lola Furwell Welter Handicap. Number two, four dollars twenty, dollar seventy. The uh, div there. Number fifteen, uh, Brackenberry, three dollars ninety and thirteen. Just Sterling paid two dollars seventy. The Victorian dividends on Sandown Race Five. Just think what you could do with five thousand dollars. Absolute cavalcade of stars. And here's another one, Ken Callender. <laughs> Thanks for the flattery, Kenny. I think that uh, Saintly is one uh, heck of a horse and uh, he's running in this race and I think he'll win. Here we go. Number one, Mahogany from Melbourne. Into $6 now, 5 dollars as I speak. 
Number two, Double Take, is a 100 to 1 chance. Fritaris Bay out the $31. Saintly, $1.90 on the tote. In other words, 10 to 9 on Investor Dollar, you'll get a dollar ninety back. When I was in the ring, you were slightly shorter with bookies. Nothing like a day in about four fifty. Uh, he's second favourite. Donar twenty six dollars. Super Slu thirty four dollars. Electronic twelve dollars. The Penny eighty dollars. And Ken Bell, the Oaks winner, at twenty one dollars. Saintly still a dollar ninety. Four forty now for nothing like a day, in, and six dollars exactly for Mahogany. There's Darren Beedman, the rider of Saintly, uh, aboard getting ready to go into the barrier for the running of the Hill Stakes. And what a great race it's going to be. It's standard wait for age. Uh, there he is, uh, ready to octagonal a few times in the autumn. Now Falante has been his nemesis twice this spring. Today, I think the son of Sky Chase gets his chance. The race is over 1,900 metres, about ideal at this stage of Saintly's preparation. There's Super Slu, a uh, 33 to 1 chance on the TAB. OK, there's Ken Bell, the Oaks winner, still out of line. Ken Bell is TAB number 10. She's ridden by Justin Sheehan. And uh, following her forward is number six, Donar, from the John Hawke stable. And Donar has Grant Cooksley in the saddle. Uh, racing in the all cerise colours of the Ingham brothers, Jack and Bob Ingham, Australia's biggest uh, racehorse owners. And uh, the blinkers are even cerise, matching blinkers to the sets of colours. OK, they're all in. Let's go to Johnny Tapp for the 1996 Hill Stakes. All right, fellas, take them up. And they're ready to run in the AWA Hill Stakes. All set. The vet had a quick look at Super Slu a moment or two back to make sure there was no skin off. He looked as though he struck his shoulder on the gate as he, he whipped around, but uh, he's been declared fit to run. All set. They're off in the hill stakes and a pretty good start. Donar, if anything, a shade tardy. Electronic bounced out in front of Mahogany. The penny is away well. Saintly is getting straight into the box seat, followed by nothing like a Dane. Super Slu wide going up in a hurry. Further back, double take, followed by Ken Bell and then Donar and the grey Prataras Bay last, but it's a packing field as they leave the mile pole behind them and swinging to the back and Mahogany is just the leader as they turn into the back straight as headed off by Super Slew now double take in third place and Saintly fourth one off the rail nothing like a Dane is going up quickly now he's three deep as they head down the back followed by Electronic on the inside of the penny further back in the field then is Ken Bell with Prataras Bay and back at the tail of the field is Donar past the 1200 metres mark double take is the leader nothing like a Dane goes up quickly to the girth of double take in third place super slew on the inside of mahogany getting the run of the race two and a half to saintly who's five off the lead followed by electronic the penny ken bell three deep is going forward and the last couple of prataras bay and donar around the top turn and approaching the 800 meters mark double take led a half length on nothing like a dane super slew third mahogany fourth the penny going up three deep and then saintly joined on the outside by ken bell a gap to electronic followed by donar with prataras bay last as they come to the 600 metres mark nearing the turn the penny made a lightning move on the outside and race to the front from double take and nothing like a Dane as they come around the turn Mahogany is three wide with the red cap wider out in the bright pink as Ken Bell and Saintly is strung up between horses as they turn for home he's cutting back to the inside now in the straight 300 out the penny tackled by nothing like a Dane Saintly gets the inside run and he's darted through now and Saintly left them standing look at this turn of foot Saintly put three lengths on nothing like a Dane Donar charging home late, but it's all saintly in the hill stakes. Beedman takes hold, and he coasted over the wire to beat nothing like a Dane with Donar third. Then Ken Bell, electronic, followed by Super Slew, Prataras Bay. Further back, the Penny and double take, and Mahogany has run last in the AWA hill stakes. A champion horse and a champion jockey, and if you've backed him on the toad, he's firm to touch. A dollar eighty the win and a dollar ten for the place. He streaked away, as John Tapp said. Acceleration can't be bought, and this horse has got it a plenty. He's down now from the 50 metre mark. Saintly goes on to beat nothing like a Dane, most convincingly by about two lengths on the line. Could have been four. Donar third, Ken Bell fourth, Electronic running on nicely into fifth place. The winner, Saintly, $1.80 and $1.10. Number five, Donar second, has paid a dollar, nothing like a Dane, I should say, has paid a dollar forty. And number six, Donar third, has paid four dollars and fifty cents. There's the winner, Saintly, in the black and white checks with the yellow sleeves and the black and white cap. Electronic is alongside him as uh, we look at this champion horse, Saintly. We'll take a break on this afternoon's edition of the Wide World of Sports. Mm-hmm. <laughs>